Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the solution of a differential equation. And that differential equation is given to us as 1 plus y square plus x minus e raised to tan inverse y dy by dx equals to 0. And if I talk about the answer choices which tell us the solution, the answer choices are x e raised to 2 tan inverse y is equal to e raised to tan inverse y plus k. The second answer choice x minus 2 is equal to k e raised to 2 tan inverse y. The third answer choice here it's given to us which is 2x e raised to tan inverse y is equal to e raised to 2 tan inverse y plus k. And the last answer choice being x e raised to tan inverse y again equals to tan inverse y plus k. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the solution of this differential equation. Let's see how to solve this question and find the solution of the differential equation. So before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on an everyday basis. Let's see the solution now. So I have been given my differential equation in the form 1 plus y square plus x minus e raised to tan inverse y dy by dx equals to 0. Now first of all if I find the entire differential equation in the form of dy by dx I get that as x minus e raised to tan inverse y dy by dx is equal to minus 1 minus y square. So from here I get dy by dx equals to minus common 1 plus y square divided by x minus e raised to tan inverse y. Now, if I see actually I am not able to put this entire differential equation in the form dy by dx plus py equals to q. So dy by dx is present but here instead of y it is x which is present. So we try to convert this idea in the opposite sense that is basically dx by dy plus px equals to q. So we are writing it in the same form just instead of y we are putting x and instead of x we are putting y. So we'll try to write our entire equation in this form where you have x here. So you, you have this x here so we can utilize that. So what I will do is I'll just take the reciprocal of this. So dx by dy from this equation I get this as x minus e raised to tan inverse y and divided by minus of 1 plus y. Now if I consume this minus sign here and take it up it becomes negative of this entire thing and that makes this numerator as e raised to tan inverse y minus x. So I'm utilizing this minus sign in the numerator. So denominator is just left with 1 plus y square. And this is basically dx by dy. So I have this entire thing with me now. dx by dy, if I split the denominators, gives you e raised to tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square minus x divided by 1. So if I take this x term on the other side gives you dx by dy plus x over 1 plus y square is equal to e raised to tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square. So we have this entire thing with us. Now if I see when I have this I can compare it with my general equation which is dx by dy plus px equals q. So if I compare it with my general equation, now I have p in terms of y, 1 over 1 plus y square and q I have it in terms of y again which is e raised to tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square. So I am able to use this general equation now to get the values of p and q. Now once I have the values of p and q, I get my integrating factor here. So e raised to integral, we have for this general equation, we have our integrating factor as e raised to integral p dx. But since here the p which is there is a function of x, 
Now we have converted it in this form, so it should become integrating factor as e raised to integral p dy. So we have that idea with us that says e raised to integral of p, p in this case is one plus y squared. So e raised to integral of one plus y squared dy. So we have this entire thing and integral of one plus y squared we know it is basically nothing but tan inverse y. Because the derivative of tan inverse y, we know it is 1 over 1 plus y squared. So e raised to integral of 1 over 1 plus y square gives you e raised to tan inverse y. And that becomes your integrating factor. Now, let's also talk about the other idea. So we know that for dy by dx plus py equals to q, we have discussed this further in other videos also that the solution for this type of questions is given as y into integrating factor, which is integral of q into if into dx plus c. So when I have it in the opposite idea exactly, where instead of y I'm putting x and instead of x I'm putting y, my solution of this differential equation also becomes x into if now, integral q if, instead of x I'll put here dy plus c. So we have this entire form. Now, once I have this entire form, my solution of this differential equation becomes this. And if I write my solution now, it gives you x into if, which is integral of q into if into dx plus c. So that gives you x. Integrating factor in this case, we know it is e raised to tan inverse y. which is equal to integral of q. q in this case, it's told to me that e raised to tan inverse y divided by one plus y squared. So e raised to tan inverse y divided by one plus y squared into integrating factor in this case, which is given to us as e raised to tan inverse y. Okay. And instead of dx, we have here dy. So if I write that dy plus c. So this gives you x e raised to tan inverse y equals integral. This, if you see, it's basically in the form of x into x, which is x square. So x square, if I'm writing, it becomes e raised to 2 tan inverse y. And once I have that e raised to 2 tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square dy plus c. Now here, if I see the question, I'm putting tan inverse y is let's say a variable t. So in that case, it will make it one over one plus y squared dy is equal to dt. So that gives you x e raised to tan inverse y is equal to integral of e raised to 2t and one over one plus y squared dy, this entire thing becomes dt. So this gives you e raised to 2 dt plus c. So further, if I'm solving this, I get x to e raised to tan inverse y. Integral of e raised to 2t basically makes it e raised to 2t divided by the coefficient of t, which is 2 plus c. So you get this entire thing. And further, if you re-substitute t, we know we have substituted t as tan inverse y. So if I'm re-substituting, this gives you tan inverse y. So that makes it x e raised to tan inverse y is equal to e raised to 2 tan inverse y divided by 2 plus c. So that basically becomes your entire equation. But if you see in the answer choices, nothing is present in terms of denominator of 2. So I'll multiply throughout by 2. So that gives you 2x e raised to tan inverse y is equal to e raised to 2 tan inverse y plus 2c. So 2c is again 2 into a constant value is again a constant. So we'll put that as let's say k because your answer choices represent the constant in terms of k. So 2x e raised to tan inverse y is equal to e raised to 2 tan inverse y plus k. So that becomes your solution of the differential equation. And if I see the answer choices that matches here with the question, it is 2x e raised to tan inverse y equals e raised to 2 tan inverse y plus k. So this matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions of differential equations 
which are of just the opposite form that is of the form dx by dy plus bx equals to q. So whatever you had your integrating factor and the solution of differential equation, you just write it in opposite sense that instead of x, you write everywhere y and instead of y, you write everywhere x. That basically changes and then you can just solve it as it is and you get the answer for this differential equations solution and that matches with option C. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.